Anyone who's seen a Tennessee walking horse in top form cannot help but admire the unusual style. But how walkers are trained, well, not everyone gets to see that, and many who do are outraged. As NBC's Kennedy Jones reports tonight, that training has touched off a big dispute in the state of their name. This has not been a happy spring in the horse country of Middle Tennessee, where some Tennessee walkers are revered almost as much as people. More than 20 horse shows featuring the high-stepping walkers have been postponed or canceled. In fact, the whole season may have to be canceled because of a controversy over the pads and chains attached to the horse's front legs, which help to give them their exaggerated gait. And with that action device banging up and down on the ankle of the horse, it makes the horse pick his feet up higher and flip his legs out further. Opponents of the devices say they cause soreness. They prefer horses to be shown in what is called plantation style, with a more natural gait. The opponents have won a ruling from a federal judge eliminating the use of pads and banning the use of chains weighing more than six ounces, at least until the Agriculture Department writes new rules to comply with the Horse Protection Act. Walking horse owners and trainers deny that pads and chains hurt their horses. They say that would be self-defeating. And they say they and the sport will lose money and audiences if the walkers have to be retrained to take lower steps. Because of the traction that this horse draws, the horse shows, people go to see a big league horse, a competition horse, they, they call this. The walking horse industry brings millions of dollars each year to the state of Tennessee, especially to Shelbyville, the home of the annual Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. The celebration and other horse events bring in about $13 million a year to this small town, where even the railroad is appropriately named. To think about Shelbyville without the horse show after 50 years is uh, much the same as thinking about Nashville without music and entertainment. But unless some compromise over action devices allows the show season to resume, the arena where the celebration is held, normally filled with 30,000 people for 10 days each August, will remain just as it is today, empty. Kim Lee Jones, NBC News, Shelbyville, Tennessee. That's nightly news for this Tuesday night. 